Hi, and welcome. Welcome to the Garden of Grace devotion. My name is Pastor Katie, and today I have a very special guest with me today in the garden, and that is Pastor Scott. Pastor Scott is joining Hello, me in the everyone. garden. Pastor Scott is joining me in the garden today because last week in the garden devotion, I shared some of my gratitude for blessings at Trinity and animals, also animals. I shared some of my gratitude for blessings at Trinity for some of the ways that God has blessed me through Trinity. And Pastor Scott is joining me today so that he can share some of his thoughts as well. Thank you for having me. It's always a joy to be a part of this. So always glad to share things I'm thankful for. That's an easy one. So what would you like to share, Pastor Scott? Well, you know, as I was, as you asked me about this earlier and I was thinking about it, there's just, there's so many things to be thankful for that I wanted to sort of pare it down a little bit, but I've, I've always felt like I've been very, I'm a very blessed individual. Um, I still believe that my worst days are probably better than most people's best days. And so um, I have, a, I have a lot to be very thankful for. I think the first thing that popped in my mind is just the opportunity to be at Trinity. Um, you know, I just, I consider this to be a, a real blessing and a real joy to be here. And I'm not just saying that because I'm here. I, I really, truly um, believe that a lot of people probably don't know. I was actually turned down for many opportunities before Trinity. And uh, to be honest with you, when I think back of those opportunities in, you know, sort of reference to this one, I give thanks to God that this was the one that worked out because I really do think that this is a much better situation both for me and for my family so um you know i give i give thanks for that other things that i give thanks to god for is just how how much trinity cares for each other in the congregation it, it's it's very obvious to me that people care about each other and they want to be there to help and support one another this is just isn't a place where they come to say the right things or do the right things they actually put faith into action and that's mm-hmm. always something very inspiring for me as a pastor to watch people do that on a regular basis. And this place probably does it as well, if not better than any other place I've been at. And then I know, I know this is stewardship season and all of that. And the word generosity gets thrown around a lot, but that was a word that came to my mind. And, and I, I use it regularly when describing Trinity because I think Trinity to be very generous. And it's not just about what is given to the regular budget but also all the other ways that that people step up throughout the year when either needs arise or situations occur or something you know happens here um you know you just sort of get used to the fact that that things will work out because people step up and and are very very generous not just with money but with time their expertise um all of those kinds of things when we're talking about generosity it's so many different things and uh it's just it, it, it's just something that I'm very, very thankful for. It's just the generosity of people and the confidence to be able to go to people when when things are needed and know that um, people uh, will respond um, in some way, shape or form to help out. So, you know, those are the big things that for me, as I was thinking about, you know, what I was going to share sort of popped into my mind right off the, the cuff, you know, things that it just flew right at the to the forefront of my mind. Those are those are things I give thanks to God for um, and giving thanks um, at Trinity. Well, Pastor Scott, I'm going to um, move because a neighbor has just fired up a blower. So I'm going to take you on the road. Oh, cool. And, and while I'm walking, I found myself, as you were talking, I found myself wondering if you have ever found yourself surprised by generosity at Trinity. You can think of a time when maybe you thought, oh gosh, look at this need. Um, and then people just kind of came together and wonderful things happened. Yeah, and like I said, it happens uh, very regularly and and I'm sure it happens at times where I don't even know what happens. And mm-hmm. uh, um, I one that pops into my mind just recently one of the first things was the other day i got a i got a card 
at the church. Yes. Don't normally get cards at the church. And so yes. I sort of intrigued why we think the card at the church. And I opened it up and realized it was from the God's Work Our Hands group that was sending out letters of, of encouragement and love and support to people. And uh, yes. that really meant a lot because I wouldn't have expected to get one. I thought those were just going to like shut in people or maybe people um, who, are, who are not with us as much as they would like to be. People who are in, in those kinds of situations and to receive one, to know that somebody thought of me was, was just really, a, it just blew me away. The card is still sitting on my desk because I just like to look at it and remember, um, you know, the generosity of it. And just looking at the whole God's Work Our Hands Sunday, um, I participated on Saturday in the um, um, roadside pickup, the adopter road. I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. So Sunday I was a little more free to just sort of go around and see, you know, what people were doing. And again, to see all those people doing all those different things in all the different ways that they were doing, giving up their you know of their time and their abilities and that was again it's just, it's just really you know inspiring to see you know that happen and like i said there are just so many ways when things pop up that you know just people show up or people are there and you know things just you know just sort of happen and and get done and you know I, I'll, I'll say one of the things that i've learned about about this too is that sometimes Sometimes I've learned to give thanks for situations that don't go well. It's easy to give mm-hmm. thanks for things that go well, but sometimes things don't go as I want or as I like. And I've learned that if I'm patient and if I just sort of let things ride out, lots of times real goodness can come out of very challenging situations. Um, mm-hmm. Don't necessarily give thanks for the, the challenge that's there very mm-hmm. obviously. Um, but the fact that we still serve a God that even can take the most challenging, maybe the most unthankful kind of situations and turn them into to good, you know, is, uh, is something, you know, to be very th- thankful for. And I can't tell you how many times, and I won't go into details, but how many times I've gotten off track, you know, mm-hmm. stuck in my, stuck in my way, stubborn about something, um, you know, or just not paying attention and God has had to get my attention in a way that I didn't enjoy or like, but at the same time, I was thankful that God did because it helped me get back on track or helped me to pay attention or help see what, what, you know, someone else was trying to tell me. And so I think those are the kinds of things too, in a congregation is that there are times where you are not the one in, you know, doing the teaching or the sharing, you're the one doing the learning and the receiving. And those, mm-hmm. those times are also times I'm very thankful for times that people have helped me, um, you know, to get straightened out on things. Living in community. Yeah. Yes. And while I don't imagine it was easy to, to not have those other job opportunities, I know that I speak for Trinity when we're thankful for the blessing that it is to have you and your family, um, you know, have come to, yeah. to yeah. Trinity. So, well, I thank you for your thoughts. I, um, I hear you talking about various ways, including through God's work, our hands and the card that you got, that you were surprised by somebody else's generosity, um, and that blessing. Um, and I hear you talking about, the importance of of holding tight to blessings um, and hope, even when things aren't going the way that you would like them to, trusting and believing that that blessings um, can and will still come. Absolutely, so. absolutely. And I wonder. Um, I think both of us would love to hear from our people that watch this about ways that maybe they've been surprised by generosity. Have any yep. of you? been surprised by the generosity of another have you had a time where all of a sudden you thought well where did this come from this blessing came out of the blue we would love to hear about that from you if you want to put something in the comments if you want to email either one of us and then also pastor scott do you want to just in closing share about the tree that we have up at trinity for these viewers yeah Speaking about a surprising blessing, as I walked out today into the narthex where the trees are at, 
and just realized that that we were running out of leaves already and it's only been a few days so that was a real surprising blessing you know i wasn't sure how well people would respond to something new like this and that but it's been been wonderful so when you come into the front entrance on the glass walls between the narthex and the sanctuary are four trees um, with leaves and instructions on a small table in front of them where we're just asking folks to share like you say you know where someone was either generous to them or just a, a blessing or a thankfulness that you have both either at trinity or in your own life it could be either one and you can do more than one of these um and we just want to you know fill those those trees you know up with those leaves just just so we can all see all the ways in which you know we are blessed and all the ways in which you know we can give thanks for ways in which god continues to be with us work through us and in and to be a blessing to others as well so when you come if you haven't done that already or even if you have um make sure to take a moment it's it's such an easy thing to do i mean i think all of us have something to be thankful for i hope and it just to, to write that down stick it up on the tree somewhere i really want to when people come into oktoberfest on october 5th when they walk by that because that's where they're going to come in that's true i want that those trees to be filled and for people to stop and say wow these look at how thankful these people are for the blessings in their lives yes well thank you for joining me today in my very first traveling garden devotion i don't think i've ever traveled before during the devotion I'm glad I was a, a part of history. So, <laughs> yeah. And we, um, we both pray God's peace for you all today and always. Take care. Thank you.